from Timeless Razor, a beautiful polished stainless steel safety razor. It has an open comb base plate with a .68 blade gap and a beautiful barber pole handle. We're going to have a shave with it coming up next. <music> Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new safety razor in the shave den from the folks at Timeless Razor. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, uh, Jeremiah, Doug, Matt, Mark, and Mick at Timeless Razor very, very kindly sent along to the channel this beautiful polished stainless steel safety razor with a barber pole handle, an open comb base plate with a 0.68 blade gap, beautiful smooth cap to it, absolutely gorgeous. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful razor. And of course, they also sent along the razor stand and it has timeless razor on the bottom of it right there. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Yeah, check that out, huh? Isn't that great? Absolutely gorgeous. This is going to be a mild shave, 0.68 blade gap. The open comb will probably increase the efficiency a little bit. We're definitely going to have a shave with it, and we're going to use an A-Best razor blade right here. I'm also going to be using uh, Timeless Razor's uh, Etheria Shave Soap. This is supplied to them by Shannon Soap. We've used this before in the past. I'm also going to be using my Timeless Shaving Bowl right here. I've already got the uh, Shave Soap in the bottom there. Can you see that? Right there. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I've already got a little bit of the shave soap in the bottom, ready to go. I've got some hot water in the sink here. We're also going to be using the Timeless Razor Adjustable Handle, Adjustable Shave Brush, the shave brush with the adjustable handle. This time around, I got a 22 millimeter synthetic knot in there. They also very kindly sent this along. This is the Golden Nib 22 millimeter SP. Uh, synthetic knot right here. It just, I just grabbed that gasket base uh, for a 22 millimeter knot and just insert it in there and just tighten it up and I'm good to go. So I was able to swap out the 26 millimeter knot with the 22 millimeter knot in a snap. Absolutely fantastic. So we're going to soak that a little bit in there like that. We're going to finish it off with uh, obviously an Allen block from GBS travel case. And you know, the uh, Etheria Shave Soap, uh, it has a bright citrus cologne top end to it, and it finishes off with a, an enticing hint of warm amber, delicate florals, and earthy sandalwood, as, as they say on the product page. So the last time around, I used uh, Cella aftershave, which kind of has a citrus kind of note, kind of vibe to it. This time around, I'm going to go for the finishing notes. Uh, and uh, they very, very, uh, very, very much reminded me of classic Old Spice. Got this from viewer Abhine Samant. Thank you again very much, Abhi. This comes from India, and it really is very, very close to the classic Old Spice scent. So I think this will go uh, very, very well with the Etheria. Uh, obviously, it's better to have the Etheria aftershave. I'll probably get that down the road sometime. But right now, I think Old Spice will do the job. And also a little bit of cold spices from Phoenix Shaving to finish it off upstairs like that. Oh, I'm also going to use a pre-shave because we know how well the, the Etheria Shave Soap performs. But this time around, I'm going to use the Tube 2.0 for my pre-shave. So... Let's go ahead. Uh, let's put a little hot water. Let me get the brush out of the way. Let's put a little hot water in this um, shave bowl just to kind of get things going a little bit. Okay, there's just a little bit of water in there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to set that over there. Let's wet the face. Let's do the pre-shave. Now, I have about two days worth of uh, beard growth. So uh, this will be a good test for the performance of the open comb uh, safety razor. And I'm also going to need a head shave. So I'm considering doing a head shave with this razor as well because 
uh, 0.68 is a, uh, for me, offers a nice mild quality. So we're going to just wash the face here with the tube 2.0. I'm foregoing the hot towel because I don't have the hot towel cabinet here in this room. Okay, let's rinse. Yeah, that's really, really, <laughs> that's already very, very slick. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just dump that in there. Let me get my brush here and just uh, wring it out a little bit. Just a little bit like that. 22 millimeter knot. And we're going to go ahead and just start that. Let me do it like this down here a little bit so you don't hear it clanging around like that. The only reason why it's clanging is because I'm holding it on its side, trying to line it up with the camera. So... That's why you hear that. So already you can see it's starting. Beautiful, beautiful lather starting. And I'm going to go ahead and just keep adding a little more water. There we go. There we go. Beautiful scent. Really like this scent a lot. This scent is perfect for an evening out. Absolutely marvelous. And it's building a beautiful, beautiful lather. Check that out. Can you see that? Already beautiful lather. Shannon soaps, they make some really, really nice shaving soaps. No doubt about it. The lathering quality of this is very, very good. And this 22 millimeter knot is really doing a nice job. The other thing that is terrific is that it's locked into the handle. And uh, you know what? It hasn't loosened up at all. It's giving me great performance. I'm doing a vigorous, vigorous uh, a swirl of vigorous, vigorous activity to get that lather going. You know, I'm lathering vigorously. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. I'm lathering. Okay, you can see it right there. Okay, there we go. Get it like, and look at how much lather I've got here. I still have a little bit of soap there uh, in between those raised ridges on the bottom, and it's just look at that. Look at that. Boom! Lather! <laughs> oh, wow! That is phenomenal. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. Really nice, great yogurty quality. Very, very rich and creamy. My gosh. All right, let me just set that there like that off to the side. Let me just uh, wet the face. We're going to go ahead and ap apply the Tube 2.0 for my pre-shave. A little bit of more water there. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this like that. Activated charcoal in CK6. That's really terrific. Let me just set that aside like that, kind of out of the way. Let's work that in a little bit. And then we'll paint the lather on and we will load the blade. There we go. Oh, that's nice. That's terrific. All right, let's go ahead and paint this lather on now. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. What a beautiful lather that is. Two days worth of beard growth, just so you know. In case I didn't mention it, I think I did, but I'll mention it again. Two days worth of beard growth. We're going to knock it down. Uh, had a shave with this already with one day's worth of beard growth, and it was a beautiful two-pass shave. Now, with two days worth of beard growth, it could be two uh, two passes and a touch-up. It could be two passes, two passes and a touch-up, uh, three passes. Uh, we'll see. I am using an A-Best razor blade, and uh, that's a really good blade. That will come into play as well and will help me determine how many passes I'm going to need, but my gosh, look at this. Look at this beautiful lather. Okay. All right, just, there we go. Like that, and this maybe just a little bit. Like there, beautiful coverage. Two days worth of beard growth, and this lather just gave me beautiful, beautiful coverage. So uh, that's great. Now, let me get, you know what, I got a towel right here. I can, 
They also sent along a nice timeless hand towel. So I'm going to use this. I use this one here, the blue one, to uh, wrap up and dry off my face. And I'll use this one to dry my hands to make sure that they're uh, dry in between passes and uh, whatnot. Because this is very, very slick this time around. So I'm just going to undo the packet here. And we're going to get, well, the whole thing came off. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. I'm excited to use this razor. So here's the A-Best blade right here. Okay. Okay, so there it is. There's the A-Best blade. Let me set that aside and let me undo my razor. Beautiful heft to this razor. Absolutely beautiful. There is a buffer ring on there. All right, so we're going to be utilizing that. So let me just uh, put the handle down and let me just uh, get this uh, done here like this. Pull that off. The fit and finish on this, the base, the base plate and the cap go together like hand and glove. It really, the, the, the fit is really very, very precise. Really, really wonderful. So here is my cap right here. There's the razor blade. I'm going to set that in there like that. And, okay, the tabs poke through the blade like that. Here is the base plate. It's got that single channel going through there that's going to line up with the tabs very, very nicely. Okay, let me get my O-ring in there. Put that O-ring. Okay, the O-ring is on there now. Okay. Okay, everything is... Let me just get it like this. Okay, so everything is... Everything is seated correctly. That's what I was doing below camera there just so I could see what I'm doing. Okay, so that is beautifully seated and I'm just snugging it up. The barber pole handle is offering a lot of nice grip. There it is right there. Balance and alignment spot on. And the, uh, the lather has remained nice and stable and has giving me a lot of nice moisturizing qualities and softening up the whisker while I was talking to you about installing the blade. We're gonna heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. And we're going to get to this shave. Oh, man, I am so looking forward to this shave. I want to get rid of this two days worth of beard growth. Believe me, I want to get rid of it. And this razor will do the trick. This will do the job. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is nice. That is nice and smooth and mild. As I say, this is probably the smoothest, most comfortable open comb razor I've ever used. It's absolutely wonderful. Just let the weight of the razor do all the work. That's all you have to do. I'm going over some of those areas, just, if you saw there, nice slickness from the shade soap to allow me to do that. Really marvelous. Again, some nice, some nice slickness to allow me to get the chin there. And I try to pay attention to the chin while when I'm doing this on camera. Sometimes I'm talking and I might forget that area. Uh, want to make sure I got it. And want to make sure I got that shaved from the first pass. And again, some nice residual slickness. Really, really comfortable, comfortable, smooth uh, approach from this razor. I should say comfortable, smooth feel from this razor.
All right. All right, this is going to go back into the stand right here like this. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. You know what? I'm I'm almost at socially acceptable. I'm almost in socially acceptable shave territory. I mean, I'm really, really close. I'm thinking that this is going to probably be... Well, you know what? I, I want to think it's going to be a two-pass shave. Uh, we'll see. We'll see because I'm really, really close. Now, uh, up above my nostrils here, yeah, I probably got about a good, I would say, 80 to 85 percent. The razor head uh, is nice. Uh, really, really nice, and uh, it, it did a nice job of getting up underneath there. Yeah, probably a little more than that. Really, probably about maybe, maybe almost ninety percent. Really, now that I'm, now that I think about it, it did a nice job. It did a really, really nice job up there. All right, we're gonna go and uh, put some more lather on here and get a second pass going. Uh, my gosh, this lather just wants to just, just. Just really just be, it, it's just coming off of the knot so wonderfully well. It's just, it's almost like it wants to just apply itself to my face here. And I think, I think that has something to do with this shave knot too. The flow through of the shave knot is really, really wonderful. I mean, obviously knocking down that whisker uh, allows for easier application of the lather. So maybe there's that bit of contrast going on, but my gosh, I mean, look how, look how, look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Just, ah, it's wonderful. And I love, I love this scent. This scent is really, really very, very good. So I'm happy to use it again for another shave with a timeless razor. If you get a timeless razor, any of their razors, Check out Etheria. Check out the soap. It's right up there on their website. All right, so let me just dry my hand off here a little bit because things are rather slick from this shave soap, no doubt about it. All right, uh, here we go. We're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west. I just checked the razor head, and everything is just stable and snug. Nothing is loosened up. Really, really nice. Very, very precisely manufactured. Uh, safety razor. I believe these are CNC machine. Stainless steel. You can get this in a polished finish or a matte finish. And the uh, polished finish is just absolutely glorious. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Marvelous, 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 marvelous. Wow, my gosh, but that is, that's wonderful. Just use a light touch, that's all you need. Some really nice residual slickness there but again the mild quality of this razor is such that I can do that really terrific and, and the efficiency is very very good Now, usually with some other open comb razors um, that are not as uh, precise as this one, uh, this is this is very very precisely made. With those razors, usually going uh, on the east to west pass on the second pass on my chin, I have to be a little more aware because sometimes I may pick up a little nick uh, here or there. Uh, with those razors. Not so with this. This, <laughs> this has been great on the second pass.
Same thing with the upper lip. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I think I got <laughs> I got the majority of it on that first pass. Those little bits up underneath the nostril. Definitely got the majority on that first pass because very little needed to be done there in the way of touching that up. Uh, second pass done. Let's see where we're at. This, this shave is done. I don't need... A second pass. My gosh, what a wonderful shade. I don't need a third pass. <laughs> Got this done in two passes. That's what I mean to say. I don't need a third pass. I don't need a touch up. This shave is done. I'm going to go ahead and do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. A lot of slickness, a lot of slickness to rinse off, and uh, plenty of lather left too. This the shave has been wonderful, really very comfortable, very very smooth, very agreeable. The shave soap has a really wonderful, agreeable, soft feel to the lather, just terrific. Uh, felt great on the skin. Post shave feel is emerging. It's going to be really really nice. Here's my cold water rinse. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> that's really nice. What a great shave. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh, marvelous. Man, that is, that is great. What a marvelous shave. Great post shave feel. I mean, BBS. BBS after two passes. My God. <laughs> My God. Two days worth of beard growth. Just beautifully shaved. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. And the post shave feel I have right now. There is a little bit of a liveliness there to it. I, part, part of it I think is from the menthol from tube two point from the tube 2.0, but I think the other factor is just the uh, wonderful ingredients in Etheria combined with the beautiful, mild, smooth quality of the razor, giving me a really nice post shave feel. No kidding, I can run out the door right now and I'll be fine. This is a great, great post shave feel. Uh, and, uh, and again, I credit a lot of that to the shave soap, but also to this razor. Again, an open comb base plate with a 0.68 blade gap. Uh, this is the this is the smoothest open comb razor I have ever used. Hands down. I'm not kidding you. It is really, really marvelous. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get my Allen block here. GBS Allen block. Run this under some cold water. See what kind of feedback we get. All right, here we go. That is smooth. That is very, very smooth. And no kidding... I got some nice bracing, and I do have a few zings. Yeah, I got a few zings. This this is a really efficient, wonderfully smooth uh, razor. Now, now again, I think I could have done a third pass, and I would have been fine. Uh, but two passes get, gets the job done, so that'll tell you how efficient it is. I think the open comb uh, on the, I think the open comb. Uh, with the 0.68 blade gap kind of increases the efficiency of that blade gap a little bit because I have used razors with that blade gap and um, I don't think they gave me quite this uh, number of uh, zings but the zings were very very minor they were just you know, hello goodbye kind of zings <laughs> but very 
a, a very, very lively feel to the uh, from from the Allen block, and uh, really uh, just uh, tells me I got a really nice close shave with no nicks, no cuts, no irritation, but there is, like I say, a little bit of liveliness to it. So uh, absolutely wonderful. Now I'm just looking. I got one little one little phantom guy right here, right there. We're just gonna go ahead. I just noticed that guy there. That's not a problem. That's gonna close up. Let me just close. This. That's what I call a phantom nick. And you know what? This will give me an opportunity to show you. You hold the Allen block there like that, and then you hold it on there for about 15, 20 seconds, and it will seal everything up. Now, that is what I would call a phantom nick because I don't feel it during the shave, and it's not apparent at all. And uh, it's just one of those, it just afterwards it just kind of sprouts up but if you if you take your allen block and you hold it there like that for about 15 seconds or so um then it, it seals it seals it right up so uh we're good to go there so yeah i can you know the, there is some efficiency there so yes i would say the razor has some efficiency and that efficiency can be tamped not tamped down the efficiency is underlying the uh, the smoothness of it. It's very, very smooth. Just know that the smoothness uh, kind of uh, gives you uh, a, a sense that it's very, very smooth, but you're getting a really, really close, close shape. So just be aware of that because it is very, very efficient, very, very smooth. As I say, I don't think I'm going to need a, I didn't need a third pass. Had I done a third pass, I would have been fine, though. Uh, really terrific, terrific, efficient, efficient shave. Okay, here is... Old Spice, like that. Going to put a little bit on there like that. This is nice. This will finish off nicely. That's nice. That is, that's terrific. And a little bit of the um, Cold Spices for upstairs. About that much there. I'm going to be doing a head shave later, so this is, um, well... This will, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I, I, in other words, I didn't have to do it, but I am going to do it because it's going to be a while before I do that head shave. So, and that guy closed right up. So I'm not even, yeah, I'm not even counting it. That's what I call a little phantom nick. That's nothing. Great, great shave. A marvelous, marvelous, efficient, very smooth Razor that delivers a nice close shave. Again, uh, two passes, two days worth of beard growth, two passes, BBS. That'll give you an idea of the, uh, the, the, the wonderful, smooth quality and high efficiency of this razor. Uh, I would love to uh, get a straight bar. Uh, with a 0.68 blade gap so I can compare the two on this razor to see how uh, the efficiency changes up a little bit because I do think the open comb does increase the efficiency a little bit but the thing is it's so smooth so you have to be aware of that it, it really does uh, disguise that efficiency a little bit I guess I, I guess you could say you're getting a really really close efficient shave uh, and, uh, you know, there is a really nice, smooth blade feel to it. So you never feel like, oh, hey, I'm getting a little too close here, or hey, it's a little too aggressive, or hey, it's so really, really smooth, and you're getting a really, really nice, efficient shave, but never, for me, it's not to the point where it's going to irritate my skin or uh, where I'm over shaving. It's just right there in the ballpark of being a nice, mild, smooth shave. I think the open comb does increase that blade gap efficiency a little bit. So I think that's where my adjustment has to be, say from a straight bar uh, ba uh, base plate. Uh, yeah, but really, really wonderful. So that's it. Uh, from Timeless Razor, a stainless steel safety razor with the open comb base plate with a 0.68 blade gap and a beautiful barber pole handle, high polished uh, polished stainless steel absolutely looks beautiful also comes you can also get the razor stand with it with the timeless razors uh, 
name etched on the bottom of it. I highly recommend the stand with the razor. Absolutely wonderful. Everything was great. And also their shave bowl. And uh, let me get it like this. Their shave bowl with their uh, wonderful, wonderful adjustable shave brush handle. You know what? We forgot to look. Let me just put this back in the stand. Wonderful to have the stand there. <laughs> so I could just drop that in. Forgot to show you the, uh, the lather here. Look at that. Oh, man. That's just... Look at it, just marvelous. Just absolutely marvelous, marvelous lather from Shannon Soaps, the Etheria Shea Soap. Okay, so now that wraps it all up, right? From Timeless Razors, polished stainless steel, open comb base plate with a 0.68 blade gap and a beautiful barber pole handle. What a great shave. I have a link to the page where you can customize your own and uh, fit it with whatever you want base plate, handle, uh, cap, that sort of thing. These are absolutely marvelous, marvelous, precisely made lasers that will last you a lifetime. So my thanks again to uh, Jeremiah, Matt, Mark, Matt, and Jeremiah, Doug, Mark, Matt, and Nick at Timeless Razor and everyone at Timeless Razor for sending along this stainless steel razor and allowing me to share it with all the viewers out there. I really do appreciate it. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I'll upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists and shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Marks or 80, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review in this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.